Здравствуйте, дорогие друзья. Hello, dear friends. We continue to discuss the topic of central relation as it contains very complex and actual questions, for example, its control. The fact is that why there are many various types of getting the central relation. Because the doctors themselves are not completely sure about registering it in the right way. As you know, last time we addressed several techniques of determining the central relation, but there is also an neuromuscular dentistry, for example, in the frames of which one should use the curve to provide such kind of registration. That is, a patient is connected to a special device, it's called TENS, a new monitor through which the current is given. The patient has on his face muscles area special sensors. Under the action of these curves, the fibrillations and microcontraction of the lower jaw appear, and in that moment, when the jaw is shaking, the registration of the central relation is undertaken, although three different registers are taken. That is, the currents must be used for this registration, and it's considered to be a deprogramming or some kind of magic relaxing of the muscles with the current. And please pay attention that full three registers are received after this registration. In fact, they are checked in a very strange way, and the entire method is miserable enough and mistaken itself, as a procedure of receiving the registration is undertaken taken when the patient is electrocuted well, so that at the moment of jaw and muscles is fibrillated, but not after the manipulation, when he should be relaxed after that. Besides that we understand that the current magnitude is different and many other technical nuances associated with this issue. However, the quintessence of all that you manage to receive three different registers. Can you imagine you give the dental technician three different registers to manufacture the crowns? It shouldn't be like that, otherwise every time you will receive different types of your relationship. And we provide an investigation in which we registered with the device MPI what joint relationship has every type of register. This device helps us to assess the relation of the process to the false. And, as you can see, there are different positions which do not correspond to each other. They also were compared to central occlusion. And it's clear that it doesn't work for us. Because in some cases, those muscle fibrillations let the jaw to move somewhere forward or to the side that is under the action of current. The one muscle contraction can be stronger so that the fibrillation contributes to terrible, sporadic, and confusing movements of the lobature. But there is one more negative moment that is. In one case, the jaw shifted along the y-axis, its articulation axis. It is the most dangerous displacement, and it will not lead to any positive results if we do prosthetics to the patient with such a bias. So here, in order to figure out this issue and control ourselves, there is a method that allows you to provide kind of verification. I'll try to show you it on the example of a small clinical case or to be more accurate of its part. As the full clinical case is big enough, I think we can make another video dedicated to this instance. It's a total prosthetics, there is a non-fixed prosthesis on the aperture and a zirconium bugle prosthesis with the application of ceramics coating. So, what do we do? Definitely it is a registration of the position of the aperture with the face bow and, as you can see, we make some registers of central relation. There wasn't one register, as we did our work in several articulators, we needed several registers. So here is gamma registration, here is SAM. 
the amount. And a very important point, I do a demountable basement. How to do it? I'll make another video where I show it to you. There is no need to send it to the laboratory. All I need to do is to buy a magnet in a special cup and closing pack. So, we need a magnet, and it must be extracted easily. That is a magnet, and it must be extracted for this cup and vice versa. We also use this stuff. And what do I do? I do that kind of demountable basement. You see, in this area it has some irregularities. The fact it is handmade. You see, this part is inside the dental cast, but the magnet is in the other part, the basement. Also, I can extract the magnet, then the model I want be retained. It's important for me in cases when I check my registers, so that magnetic biasing won't occur. Therefore, other systems, spint casts of the demountable placement will be relevant. Magnetic biasing will occur and we won't see the relation reproducibility of the register. You see, we have made one register. Here is the 3rd of February and here is the 5th, that is, in today's we made another register and we can check the position of the jaws, just place the models in the articulator. You can see I mounted the cast on the upper rim of the articulator. There is a little space here, so I use such a method and can use a duct tape on the model in order to the gypsum, not to expand or use a box as in this example. We keep the necessary distance. Once again, it must be within one centimeter in order not to take a bias and mount it on the upper ramus of the articulator. You see, I get a demountable basement. There is a part I can remove, that is a part with the teeth and other prosthesis, and the second part, which is directly mounted to the upper ramus on the articulator. Look, what does it allow me to do? It allows me to transfer the same model to the different articulators. For example, a dental technician uses a stratus articulator where he makes non-fixed prosthetics, but I work with some or gamma. And with the help of a demountable basement, I can transfer this model to the different articulators. Here you can see how I remove the lower part with the teeth. Extremely important factor is the possibility of extracting the magnet. That's the reason it must have been in such a cut, because you must be able to remove a magnet out of your basement. Next, you provide a registration of the jaws with the help of, as you can see, the most often I use plate type kinds of registrate. Here is number one and number two, while the gap between them is two days. And what do I do next? I extract the magnet and close the upper rim of the articulator to the second part of our demountable basement. As you can see, I have the absolute convergency when position the first register and the second register. That is, the demountable parts of the basement are Absolutely coincide. There is no difference between using one register or another while mounting on the articulator. Although they were obtained in completely different periods of time, that is, the use of a demountable basement allows you to determine an extremely important aspect of sense relation, their reproducibility. Then it gives you a clear understanding that your work is mounted in accordance with the jaw relationship you were looking for, your therapeutic goal. The same relationship is 
in the patient mouth, as you have achieved here. So to say this method is quite interesting and quite simple. It gives you confidence that you are at the right time and in the right place. So, thank you for your attention. Welcome to our courses. Watch our videos, like it, ask questions, and if I have explained you something not in full, so I'll create a new video and show you how to do it by hand, so that you can use our video as a guide to action. Thank you very much. See you.